1939, when the war broke out, the Germans came in and the, um, they came in like devils, uh, only <laughs> murdering, killing Jews. But then it stopped, and then in the, uh, the 1941, uh, they, uh, a, a ghetto, they told us to, um, to, to go into the ghetto. In September 1942, the Germans liquidated the ghetto of 30,000 Jewish people. And the, all the transports went to Treblinka. Very few people came back from Treblinka. Uh, there's a, a couple guys came back and they uh, told us we couldn't believe what's happening, that the, be the people are being slaughtered. About 200 able-bodied men, including myself and my, and my older brother, David, we remained to clean up the ghetto. It took about three weeks to clean up the ghetto, and we, uh, everything uh, was shipped, uh, all the valuables and, and the furniture, clothing, everything was shipped to Germany. Then they, in 1943, they moved us to the first concentration camp in uh, Blizzen, not far from Kelts. In 1944, beginning 44, they liquidated the uh, Blizzen, and we were shipped off in cattle cars to Oshvenchim, uh, Birkenau. We, when we came, the crematoriums were not working. We met people there, which were from 1941, they were there from our hometown, and they told us, uh, you're lucky, Mengele is, is not here, they, you're not going through a selection. I worked and, um, on the, on, uh, where the trains were coming in. Trains were coming in from Belgium, Holland, and Norway. And they were dressed like they're going to on a vacation, very well dressed, and they didn't look like Jewish people with valises, they came in, in passenger cars. So, but they went straight to the crematoriums. They didn't give him a chance to, even to breathe. So I was working on, with a detail and, and to clean up the, the cars, to take out everything. Then uh, they were liquidating also Auschwitz, in the end of 1944, going on 1945, so we we wound up uh, on on. They took us to Buchenwald. Myself, I, I was shipped off from Buchenwald on a transport. The end of April. For ten days we were traveling. Only at night we were traveling at that time. Uh, and the, um, on, the, on, the, on the 10th day, on the 7th of May, we arrived to, to Reisenstadt. I couldn't get up. I was laying there with that people on the, in the cattle car, and they opened up the big doors from the cattle car, and they said the Germans left. And this gave me the strength to get up. So it came to my mind that I'm going back to Celts. I came back to my hometown. I met maybe a hundred people that were there on two buildings, and Jewish buildings, and the, uh, the, the Polish people were very ignorant. Uh, they said to me, yes, yes, yes. It means uh, you're, you're still alive, you're still alive. So we went from Celts, we moved down to Wroclaw, a former uh, Breslau, and we stayed there till 1946. We had to make a living. Nobody gave us anything. Then I left. We in 1946 in July 4th. There was a program in my hometown. That he killed 42 people. 
So everybody, all the Jewish people ran out of Poland. And I also traveled. I was already well dressed, uh, well nourished. I had money, I had uh, clothing. And uh, so I left Poland. I arrived in East Berlin then in 1946. Then I, uh, I told my heart that my brother's alive. So I went from camp to camp. In Belgium I was in Hanover. All day I knew where the DP camps are. I come into uh, one of the camps in uh, uh, Frankfurt am Main, was in Salzheim, was also a big camp. Uh, a lot of Jewish people were there, young Polish people also. And uh, as I'm walking in from the train, a uh, man comes towards me. And I recognize him because he was much older. And I says, you recognize me? I, I told him in Yiddish, Kinsmach? He says, no. You recognize me? No. I, so I mentioned the name. Oh, he says, your brother lives not far from here. Uh, next day, I called my brother. Telephones were working already. And the uh, next day, he came to see me to, in Salzheim. And uh, I told him, you know what? He was also very well situated right after the war, not in a DP camp. I told him, I don't want to stay in Germany. Or we go to to Palestine or we go to America. And sure enough, in 1947, we came to America. And we stayed together, we built together, we stayed in business till he retired in 1984.